Here we are here today. Sitting here in a seal's house. Just jamming out, having a little bit of fun here. Hey, what's up everybody? Hello. How's it, How's it going? How are you doing? This is uh, How are you doing? <laughs> This here would be uh, Andrew Byrne. He's uh, gonna be the drummer for our band. So how's it going, Andrew? Pretty good, just waiting to go to work here soon. Making good work? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so what are your uh, what are your hopes to be to uh, you know uh, put into this into this uh, project we're doing? Well, I played with played extensively with one other person before. We were um, kind of a band, just two men. We um, wrote a couple songs together. And, you know, it wasn't much, but it's fun to do. I look forward to it. Just being able to get out and play that'd be nice mm -hmm. too. If we could actually go somewhere where they make a little bit of money off our music, mm -hmm. that'd be awesome. Make money doing what you love is a good thing. So you pretty much had the same uh, opinion that, uh, I mean, making making a little bit of money off of it is uh, is going to be a good thing, but doing what you love, that's what you want to do mo more than anything, really? Yes. Yes. You say, me, me and Andrew here have got the uh, the same, uh, or SEAL, have got the same uh, same opinion on that as well. So, but uh, but yeah, that's pretty good. What are, um, what are some of your uh, your idols? That kind of... Okay. Oh, I mean, I'm sure I'm sure you got I'm sure you got quite a few. So just the drummerist. I have singers too because I like singing. Danny mm -hmm. Carey from Tool is my number one favorite drummer. There's a lot more behind him. Neil Peart, Lars Ulrich. A lot I can't think of right now. A lot I can't think of. Shannon Larkin. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Shannon Larkin from Godsmack. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, what kind of uh, say? How do I put this? Um, so besides, uh, you know, besides just uh, you know idols and uh, your influences and all that, uh, how long have you uh, how long have you been doing the drums now? Probably started around 14, 15. It's not an exact number. What I started on, you couldn't really call it a drum set. It was like a bunch of pots and pans and shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That thing was awesome. It I was the worst drum set. It was like a five-year-old drum kit with no cymbals and only a bass, really. Mm -hmm. We know. Do we? Do we have? No, we had a fucking pot that was like. Oh yeah, it was a big it was, tin bowl. It was a tin bowl. That's what it was. We drilled a hole in the middle of it and get a rig to stand it. That was my symbol. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we got a crash symbol. And that changed everything. That changed everything. <laughs> but not really, because it was so. Much and then I got a real drum set, and that changed everything. Yeah. It did. Now I actually play drums. So you enjoy doing that? Oh yeah. Hell of a lot. Oh yeah. All yeah, right. I played before I came here. Yeah, you did. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, we definitely got to hear you bang on some drums, dude. <laughs> well, um, well, that's one thing that we will, that I, uh, that I didn't want to address. Let me get the camera on me. Um, that's one thing that we do want to address is that, uh, seeing that we do not have a drum set here at the moment, I would like to see, uh, Andrew here bang, banging the shit out of those. The best, uh, the best from what I can hear. And, um, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to hearing that, so. Say so we'll uh, sign out on that. See. We also got uh, Alex over here. What's going on, man? Also oh, known as Pirate. I also know, no, yes. Oh, yes. Not, nothing much, man. Just chilling with you guys. Nothing much? Well, uh, what do you say? Uh, what What is it you're hoping to do? Uh, you know, provide for uh, for this project we're doing. Just, you know, I've always wanted to be in a band. I've always wanted to sing in a band. I've always wanted to play guitar or do something in a band. It's one of the mm -hmm. things I got to do before I die. So I mean, I'm pretty hey, uh, hey, we're we're all the same. We're yeah, all the I'm, same here, man. I'm pretty, pretty adamant about singing. I love singing. I love playing guitar. Music's just what I do. See, yeah, music music is what I've been all about since I was in high school myself. So, ever ever since I got into that, I think I think, and yeah, I mean the first song that I that I ever fell in love with with rock and roll. This is actually before I I was I was even in high school. I was with Donovan, and so, Andrew, and Alex. I can't, I can't believe you still answer the phone. <laughs> it's my mom. Of course I'm going to answer the phone, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, the, uh, well the, fir the first rock and roll for me, rock and roll song for me, and it, I, I think it was also the same thing for Seal, was that um, that's uh, the song uh, Hero off the Spider-Man soundtrack. Oh, yeah. That was uh, that was the first song for me. That was that was a song that introduced rock and roll for me. Period. That's where okay. that's how I that's how I got interested into into Nickelback and Saliva and Theory of a Dead Man. And All right, see, I grew up on things like the Who. I grew up a lot of Led Zeppelin, Led Zeppelin fucking. A lot of old. Mm -hmm. so I, I still listen to that as well. My I mean, mom is everything awesome. from the nineties. She, she grew up. 60s. She loves grunge metal, like fucking Pearl Jam and sixties. Fucking 
Nirvana and all those kinds of Nirvana, bands. Nirvana, hell yeah. That. She's all about grunge music, hair bands, and I'm not too big in hair bands at all. I'm not, not big on the 80s metal, but I love Metallica. My mom really got me, my mom's the one that got me into metal. That's mm -hmm. kind of funny, but yeah. But mostly, grew up on classic rock, and I listen to all kinds of music. Anywhere from like dubstep to classical to smooth jazz to heavy metal to got my bass. rock and roll. I love music. That's, that's about all I have. Mm hmm. See, I think that's what we're all about here. So, say rock, rock and roll is pretty much, if you ask me, the uh, the foundation of uh, wanting to get this started. And uh, that was uh, that was kind of the idea that uh, Pop Evil had when they when they first started. So. Uh, Fuck Justin Bieber. Fuck Justin Bieber. <laughs> I love that. Say, so, uh, that was uh, that was the uh, that was the chant by the when um, Pop Evil left off stage at Blaze Fest. So, but um. But yeah, that was uh, that was the same thought that, surra that surrounded their minds, and um, and uh, I guess we'll go over here to uh, to Seal. Oh, the seal. What's been go What's been going on, man? Not too much, man. Just practicing on bass as usual, doing my thing. Um, you know, kind of getting a little bit better, a little bit speedier. You know, let's see if I can do it again. Okay. Fucking shit, man. Oh, fuck. Anyway, that's just a little bit of what I got at the moment. Like I said, it's mostly what I've been working on in the past. I haven't touched bass chords yet. Um, you know, just kind of kind of going with it. Mm -hmm. You know, not trying to overdo it. You know, stay in one spot and do what you got to do. Um, as you can see... I got the Irish hat on today. <laughs> Fucking love all this hat. Of, all about the luck. Oh yeah, it's Irish all about luck, the luck. Yes. And it doesn't hurt that I have a little bit of Irish blood in me. <laughs> hey, but I got, I got, I got is, plenty of that in me. So I, this, so this it's, is the Irishman right here. This is the Irishman. Oh, right over here. I'm, our, I'm Irish. Full blown. And then we got, we got the, we got the Scandinavian god over here. <laughs> Scandinavian. I'm, I'm kind of Scandinavian. Jesus Christ. I got a lot of one thing, one thing I would like would like to say that we should do is that, um, like, okay, obviously since Andrew's got the guitar at the moment, we should see what he's got, but then we should definitely show these people what Alex has got on the guitar. Oh yes, definitely. Jesus, Come on, man, we got to get a taste of you out there. It's your lifelong dream to play on stage. See, that's a, that's pretty much the whole point of uh, doing this and uh, putting it on YouTube. So, uh, I mean, you should you should see the views that we've gotten so, that we've gotten so far off our previ previous videos. Oh, yeah. My uh, my introduction video is already pretty much up to 45 views. So uh, so it's getting out there. Got 14 subscribers and yeah, the first nearly 3,000 views on my on my ch on my channel. So. Oh, yeah. The first half of my video has just, uh, almost as many views as his does. Uh, like I said, we've got jam sessions on there. You know. It, it's you know obviously like I was telling y'all before we record our band meetings and everything but we also get live concert footage we do jam sessions we do yeah. updates I mean it, it's all about the music man you know we're not, yeah, we're not, we're not just trying to put our name out there to be like you know hey we, we want money you know we're doing this for the fame and the fortune you know the, the fame and the fortune is just a bonus dude yeah pretty much and of course the ladies the ladies. Yes, was, yes. I, I said it. Consider that. Consider that a double bonus. Times. We saw some beautiful titties at Blaze Fest. Yes, we did. I remember that. Some they went, uh, <laughs> right, right, in the, right in the middle of saving Abel. Hey, oh, girl, so watch, come on up here. Come on up here. <laughs> With his little southern twang and everything. Yep. That's awesome. That was uh, that was pretty fun. Like he's in the middle of a very meaningful speech. Very very meaningful speech, and then these two girls just. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> hey girl, hey girl. This is like this is like a life lesson, and right in the middle of it. Hey, you come up here. I want to see the titties. Come here. All right, let me motorboat them shit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Say, what you got playing there? Just messing around in drop D. 
We're just messing around. That's and my drop D. That's my drop D. And drop C is pretty damn cool too. You're playing, uh, you're playing drop C. What drop C is? Um, so far I've only heard the drop D. Right. Drop C is a little bit more complicated. Than drop C is a little harder. I actually got to where I was doing it. My guitar was in drop C for a while. It's, it's that very fucking... Uh, oh shit, we got some Everlong going. <laughs> Pretty badass. Hey, mama. Hey. Hey there. <laughs>